right, in this class we're going to look at the Apple uh, standby power supply working conditions of the Apple SMC so this class we're going to look at the Apple SMC standby working conditions so as you all know each digital chips from the PC baseboards need uh, three main conditions which is supply reset and clock so I'm going to show you for the Apple um, this is a demo video Right, as I said before, if you want full videos, you have to pay. Right, and as I already said that my videos will be launched by early next year. Right, so stay tuned for those videos that will be ready for purchasing. Okay, so in this video, I have the schematic here. All right, and this is the charger page as you can see, and uh, this is for the Apple. Right, remember this is that Apple base schematic A202936. Right, and this is the board here that I have. This is the back view, right, and this is the top view here with the PCH and the CPU. Okay, so at uh, the schematic here, we have uh, our charging the charging chip, which is the charging IC, which is ISL 6259, which is a very common chip on most Macintosh Apple notebooks. All right, so um. I won't explain the full working conditions of this IC because this is a demo class, right? So if you want full videos, you have to pay. Okay, so we are talking about the SMC working conditions, right? What are the main working conditions to turn on your SMC, right? And how do you know when the SMC is working, right? So the SMC is like your IO controller for the PC, which is known as a system management, right? Controller. So SMC is a BJ package on the Apple notebook systems right as you can see right uh, for the SMC right this is this, this is the SMC and this is a BJ package right this is a BJ package and it's F2117 LP right and this is programmed this EC or SMC has a software inside just like for a regular PC baseboard right and this software is embedded inside of this IO controller right so 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 this EC is programmed as its own internal program, right? So let's look at the working conditions. So uh, for any IO controller schematic base, the first signal for the schematic for the notebook SMC, you should notice or notify, which is AVCC. So most uh, IO controller SMC, the the, main, the first um, power supply, which is AVCC, right? So AVCC is going to here here it is so avcc which is c df 2117 vr plp 20 hv this is the name of the io the smc chip right so this is the sm chip smc chip u4900 right and uh, we're going to look at the working conditions first you check supply as you can see we have a supply here two supplies as a matter of fact we have pp3v3 underscore s5 underscore avf underscore smc we have pp 3 v 42 underscore g3h right so we have two supplies here so let's check this one avcc which is coming to the pin m12 pin of this io um, smc as you can see it is coming from here as you can see pp3.42 and pp3.42 is coming from that main power supply that i explained in the last class right in the last demo class i explained the generation of this voltage of pp3.42 which is generated from the 18 volts from the adapter and there's it's coming to an, a, a chip which has an internal mosfets and a pwm drive ic to generate this 3.42 volt so go back to that demo video and you should understand okay all right so that's the first power supply coming through our resistor as you can see at the same time this resistor is charged this is a delay capacitance right where the resistance is multiplied by the capacitance so as you can see we have a, a resistance here of 4.7 right so that's 4.7 k right 4.7 kilo ohm and we have a capacitor here of 0 0.1 uf or microfarad right so that's multiply by 0 0.1 right can you tell me what's the answer all right so that's equal to 0 0.4 milliseconds remember it takes 0 point this is calculated in milliseconds because you want to know how long will this capacitor and this resistor will be delayed it's called a delay circuit or an rc delay circuit Right? It's an RC where the resistance is multiplied by the capacitance and that's equal to 0 0.4 milliseconds. 
right so that's 0 0.4 mill 0 0.47 milliseconds it takes the charge to supply ABCC okay so let's go to the next supply all right so let's go to the next supply as you can see we have another set of supply here which is VCC right VCC all right so this is the next supply we have VCC all right so VCC as you can see is supplied by also PP 3.42 underscore G3H and it's coming through these coupling capacitors and to supply these pins right and as you can see right at the same time another part of this supply right is going to SMC TRST right this is RST which is a, a second reset signal right and then uh, we have another one here which is SMC KBC mode right to turn it into SM to turn on SMC KBC mode right and uh, <coughs> as you can see we have a, a, a voltage reference as you can see AV ref reference voltage which is coming from the standby so we have two supplies as you can see coming to the SMC so this is PWM 3.3 volts and this is PP CP 3.42 right this is for this to turn on the sys1 wire and to turn on the smc and this is for the reference voltage for the smc so these are two different supplies as you can see right so this is pwm standby s5 as you can see soft off right and we have pp 3.42 g38 so these two supplies are supplying these two pins and this pin so three sets of supplies so ABCC VCC and AVRF these are three and it's the same it's a similar methodology for the PC based boards also right so ABCC VCC AVRF which is a, a reference voltage now the next signal you should check for is the reset remember we need supply reset and the clock right so SMC underscore reset underscore L where is this coming from so let's copy and see where it's coming from this is coming from a chip this is normally coming from a chip which is used to reset your SMC through the keyboard okay let's go to the next let's no right here oh sorry this is the SMC here it is so this is the chip right as you can see SMC underscore reset underscore L is going out of this chip and it is also pulled up by a 100 kilo ohm resistance as you can see with PP 3.42 G3H so PP 3.42 G3H is supplying this chip right at the same time PP 3.42 G3H is supplying the V plus pin so there are two supplies right and as you can see when it gets these two supplies it will re reset the signal out and ref out a reference output voltage and this is where the reference is coming from so these two signals are going directly this is the second supply right this is the second supply and this is this the, the, the reset supply right so this pp3.42 s5 is generated from this ic as you can see and it is also co coming from um this pp3.3 s5 is also generated from the pulse rate modulation circuit right pwm tps51125 right tps51125 right is here here is your 5 volt and 3.0 regulator IC, which is TPS51125. So this is where it is generated from, from the coils, right? Not linear. Linear voltages are generated from these capacitors here, right? 3.3 volt and 5 volt linear. But pulse width modulation voltages is generated here. But at this time, the EC is not fully powered because working conditions is not met, right? So it must find a way to generate that secondary voltage and it is done through this chip right smc underscore reset l to reset the ec or the smc right so reset is released right vin and plus is supplied then it is pulled up by a 100 kilo ohm resistor to supply smc reset and this is 3.42 volt high right this must be high right l means they are going to l means it's active when it's low so when you hit you see SMC touchpad underscore RST underscore reset L and SMC underscore on off L when you hold on the manual reset this is known as a manual reset as you can see so when you hold on the power switch and you hit the touchpad right and you hit a manual reset on the touchpad then it will, it will pull these two signal low and then it will pull this low to reset the SMC so it is only active when it's low but at this time you are turning on the laptop so you this must be high 
right this must be high right so that's why it's connected to our pull up resistance to go to the smc and this is coming from the power supply as you can see right all these supplies are coming from pp 3.42 and then smc reset vref which is coming out to supply the smc so these are the two the one supply and one reset right and the other reset is coming from the pp 3.42 right as you can see all right so this is that for the supply now the next set of signals we're going to check the next thing we're going to check is the clock right we have smc underscore crystal which is external right and the regular internal crystal one output swing another input swing and this roughly this uh smc has a special crystal also let's copy this signal see where it's coming from Alright, and this is coming from a 20 megahertz crystal as you can see, right? So the crystal uses a this SMC uses a 20 megahertz crystal and this crystal is providing a frequency and it's sending back an external frequency to the this is a, the outgoing crystal, this is the incoming signal coming into the SMC. So this is a 20 megahertz crystal, right? That is going to the SMC, right? So that is the working conditions, the main working conditions of the SMC chip after getting these working three working conditions what are the next what is the next step all right the next step is it's going to it needs to get the adapter detection signal it will read sorry it will recon it will read the internal program remember there's an internal program that's inside of this smc when it reads that internal program then it will configure configure its gpio pins right all gpio pins will be configured right so if i am um, you go to let's copy this let's go to the other sections of this u4900 chip right remember this is a bga package and uh it has a lot of uh, it's bga right as you can see all these pins u4900 these are all other pins that will be configured and these are here and the gpio pins all these are some of the gpio pins it so the software inside of this io controller must read the program in order to configure its gpio so this is the smc as you can see so this is the power supply section right it's split up into different parts this is u4900 section right and this is the u4900 another section part one of three right right this is three of three right and this is two of three right so these are the three and these are your gpio pins right these are all gpio right and uh this is how when the smc reads its internal program it will configure all these pins to in order for it to work right in order for it to work so this is the the process that you are going to check for the smc working conditions right and the smc as i showed you before is here right here is the smc chip right this is a smc chip right right here is the crystal for the smc chip 20 megahertz crystal right here here is a 20 megahertz crystal right this is your 25 megahertz crystal for the pch right this is a 25 megahertz crystal for the pch and this is a 20 megahertz crystal for the smc chip okay all right so uh so this is the process right so this is a demo video i hope you learned something from this video and uh in in future videos i'll give more demo videos from time to time right my class my online class will be launched as soon as possible so stay tuned thanks for watching